what's happening, Chad, RC Models, and more. And it's a snowy day here in Ohio, but spring is coming. Unless you're lucky enough to live in one of those states or parts of the world where it's sunny and beautiful all year long, you probably haven't flown your quads in a while. Well, there's been a lot of updates to, to beta flight, to clean flight, all kinds of new features from fail safes to acro plus and to air mode. Air mode's the one that I'm going to focus on right now. It's kind of the, the mode that everybody sees these pros using where it allows your propellers to basically stay moving even at zero throttle. So you can kind of do those gliding maneuvers through the air uh, that you see. Uh, you're probably still going to crash. I know I have before, but that's just the fun in all of it. So it's going to be a real quick tutorial on how to set up that second switch um, on the Tyrannus to work in combination with your other mode switch. And, um, you know, there's really nothing to it. Hook up your quad to clean flight, set everything up. Um, I'll show you the video. So check it out. We'll see you guys. Okay, this is just going to be a quick little tutorial on how to set up air mode using a three-way switch in combination with your three-way mode flight switch um, on the Vortex or really any other quad. Uh, really, all you're going to do is go into your model. <clears throat> and instead of adding just channel 5, we're basically just going to pick and add another switch. You can do which, whichever ones you like. Um, I'm using these two up here just because it's the two that I always feel the most comfortable with. And I use these switches over here for uh, RSSI and other things. Uh, so basically, when it's all said and done, uh, SE which is up here is going to be my actual flight mode switch and SA which is right here is going to be my three position switch that we're going to set up in the clean flight configurator to use air mode so we're going to hook everything up to the PC and we'll show you that here in a few minutes all right we got the Vortex plugged into the PC and running Clean Flight Configurator 1.2.1. Um, as you can see by the doc, by this up here in the documentation, it's showing that we are using the newest copy of Betaflight, which is 2.5.3 as of April 9th, 2016. Uh, you can see the quads level and everything else like that. Um, what we're going to do, there's a lot of new stuff in this version, uh, but uh, we're going to focus on setting up air mode and the switches. So the first thing on air mode is we want to make sure that motor stop is not on. So that is okay. And then we're going to go into modes. So basically, in order to get air mode working, you have to configure two switches. At least this is the way that I do it. Your first switch is the one that everybody is used to that is going to change you between acro, horizon, and angle. And the, th the second switch is what is going to arm and disarm the motors. So, if you look, I have AUX2 set up on ARM and AUX2 set up on air mode. On the ARM range, if I switch and ARM, basically you can see that the range extends the whole length here which basically is going to cover arming 
and it is also going to be active down here when air mode is on. So if I move the switch down to another position, now arm and air mode are lit up on that same switch and we are in angle mode. Now if I start switching flight modes, I'm going from horizon to angle to acro, which is nothing. So you don't have to put anything in uh, for acro. Now there is acro plus. So if you wanted to, you could easily create and add the range for acro plus on auxiliary one and move it over in case of horizon, acro, or whatever. But we're not gonna mess with Acro Plus yet. So we're just going to delete it by clicking on the X. So you'll have to save after you've done that. And by messing around with these bars, sliding them back and forth, basically you can set up air mode on the three-way switch as well as setting up your three-way flight mode switch. So we'll show you what that looks like on the OSD here in a second. So now we have the Vortex fired up and the Tyrannus. And you can see again that we're running the newest version of the Vortex firmware and that we're running 2.5.3 on beta flight. So if we exit out of this, like we're getting ready to fly, you see the little screen that everybody's used to. And if I switch my three, one, my first three position switch, auxiliary one, you can see it and you can hear my Tyrannus because I have some sounds plugged in. Um, the coolest thing now is you'll see the middle where it says disarmed. I'll switch it. That goes away. It's armed. This still says acro. Now if I go down one more time, you can see it says acro plus air mode. And then air mode actually will stay on for all of these modes as long as I'm in that position. I can switch it off, active. out of air mode, but the motors are still running because it's still armed and I can still switch my positions. I can disarm it, I can arm it again, oh, go back into air mode acro. and acro. And if I move the quad, you can hear air mode doing its thing. If I switch it to acro, it's still doing its thing. So basically those are the differences that you're getting now with uh, the newest updates is that it will actually not only show you but you can actually recognize that uh, air modes on all the time so that right there is pretty much the clean and simple way to do it and just to show you what it looks like